Hi, my name is Linda Ikechiku, and I'm a developer advocate at Small Step Labs. At Small Step, we build tools so that developers can use TLS certificates to identify and secure communications between workloads, devices, machines, and humans. Today, I'd like to introduce you to StepCA, which is our open source online certificate authority that you can use to provision and manage certificates for your internal infrastructure. TLS certificates are commonly used to enable HTTPS and secure communications between browsers and servers on the public internet. But they can be used for so much more. You can use TLS certificates to identify, authenticate, and secure communications for all entities within your internal workloads. I'm talking internal websites, APIs, Docker containers, Kubernetes instances, databases, humans, and so much more. But to use certificates within your internal infrastructure, you'll need to set up a certificate authority. A certificate authority is what handles issuing new certificates, renewing certificates when they expire, and revoking certificates when they are no longer valid or have been compromised. You'll also need to configure all your endpoints to trust the certificate authority. Now that's not an easy task. There are a bunch of reasons why public browser certificate authorities like less encrypts are not ideal for internal stuff. First, with public browser certificate authority, you have little or no control over important certificate details like certificate lifetime, revocation mechanisms, renewal processes, and much more. This means that you can customize or define how your certificate should be issued. Also, you can use public web certificate authorities to issue certificates to internet name, IP addresses, or endpoints without a fully qualified and resolvable global DNS. Sum it up to say, you're better off with an internal CA. And that's where Step CA comes in. As I mentioned, Step CA is an open source online certificate authority that you can use to provision and manage certificates for your internal infrastructure. To show you how easy it is to use Step CA, let's set up a local certificate authority on our local machine. To do that, I'll be using the Homebrew installer on my Mac with the command brew install step. For installation instructions for other OS, please pause this video and visit smallstep.com slash docs slash step ca slash installation and then come back and continue once you've successfully installed step we'll then initialize and configure a certificate authority using the command step ca init i'll select the standalone deployment type for my pki name i'll type linda's pki For DNS name and IP address, I'll simply use localhost. For port, I'll use port 8443. And then for provisioners. I'll be using my email address. Next, I'll be asked to choose a password for my CA keys. Now, our PKI is ready to go, but we're not done yet. Next, we'll run our certificate authority and pass the certificate authority configuration file generated in the last step. I'll then be asked to provide the password that I entered during the certificate initialization step. Once I enter the correct password which I provided in the certificate initialization step, then my certificate authority is now up and running as you can see, and we can now issue certificates. But before that, let's install certificate authorities root certificate into our local trust store 
to establish system-wide trust of our certificate authority so that certificate issued by our CA will be trusted by call and other programs on our local missions. To do that, we'll run the command step certificate install and then pass the root certificate file created in the certificate initialization step. I'll then be asked for my password, which I'll now provide. Yay! We've successfully installed our root CA certificate into our system trust store. Now that our certificate authority is up and running, let's try to create an example server and use our new certificate authority to issue a TLS certificate so that we can connect to the server using HTTPS. For this demo, I'll be using Node.js. I've already set up a simple Node.js project and the code for my server. Now, all I have to do is use our certificate authority to issue a certificate and a private key for our local host server. Great, we've created a certificate and a private key for our local host server. As you can see, the certificate file and the private key file are present in my project folder. This is the code for my node server. I've already passed the server certificate file and the key file as options to the create server function. This example server listens to ports 9443 and serves hello world to any client that accepts the server certificate as trusted. To test out our little experiment, let's start the server and make a call request. Our server is running. Now let's make a call request. Nice. We can see that our server serves hello world via HTTPS. Great. You've just generated and integrated your first certificate using StepC. Congratulations. To learn more about StepC, visit smallstep.com slash dog slash step ca slash get you started and oh if you need to set up certificates for your internal infrastructure but don't want to get your hands dirty we also have a certificate manager SaaS offering do check it out bye